Let us begin this time of adoration by signing ourselves with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We invite each one of you to come into the presence of Almighty God. Let us take any posture of worship and prepare our hearts and minds to worship this great, big, awesome God of ours. He is our divine healer. He is the perfect physician. We can come to him with all our problems and lay them down at his feet to receive his grace and blessings. Cause me to come to thy river, O Lord. Cause me to come to thy river, O Lord. Cause me to come to thy river, O Lord. Cause me. Loving God, we come to you during this hour to thank you for the gift of our physicians and request your abundant blessings upon all the physicians and health care workers worldwide. We pray for good health, wisdom, patience, and the required grace for our doctors, nurses, and other frontline health care workers to serve the sick with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm, especially during this current pandemic situation. The role of the physician in a communitarian setup is indeed an ancient one. For as long as there have been illness and disease among humans, Physicians have been those moved with compassion at the suffering of their neighbors. They have been those generous individuals who have desired to ease off pain and cure the sick. As evident during this pandemic period, our doctors have tirelessly spent months away from their family so as to care for and treat the patients who contacted the COVID-19 virus to complete wellness. While on one hand, people across India and around the globe are largely confined to their homes with businesses and educational institutions all shut down in attempt to contain the virus. On the other hand, doctors, healthcare workers and medical staff members are leading the battle against COVID-19 from the front, putting their own lives at risk with selfless determination for the sake of saving lives. They are truly our heroes in these challenging times. Despite being victims of false allegations, isolation, discrimination and pain, our doctors have selflessly rendered their service to the point at which 
Many doctors have even sacrificed their own lives in the line of duty. Today, we give thanks for those brave women and men who have found their greatest joy in the service to one of the world's deepest hungers, the hunger for healing and wellness. Let us now listen to the words of scripture. A reading from the book of Sirach, chapter 38. Honor physicians for their services, for the Lord created them. For the gift of healing comes from the Most High, and they are rewarded by God. The skill of physicians makes them distinguished, and in the presence of the great they are admired. The Lord created medicines out of the earth, through which the physician heals and takes away pain. The pharmacist makes a mixture from them. God's works will never be finished, and from them health spreads all over the earth. My child, when you are ill, do not delay, but pray to the Lord, and the Lord will heal you. Give up your faults and direct your hands rightly, and cleanse your heart from all sin. Then give the physician a place, for the Lord created him. Do not let a physician leave you, for you need him. There may come a time when recovery lies in the hands of physicians, for they too pray to the Lord, that the Lord grant them success in diagnosis and in healing for the sake of preserving life. The Word of God. Thanks be to the Lord. Let us pause for a while at this moment as we have just heard the beautiful passage from the scripture. The scriptures remind us that this is God who provides medicines from among the abundance of creation. It is God who is the source of all wisdom God, who is a source of illumination of in diagnosis and ultimately God who heals. It also reminds us that God needs collaborators in the process of healing. The physician has a special place in God's plan to restore health and wellness. And so today, let us remember and pray for all those who collaborate with God's healing as physicians. The Apostle Paul says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace and patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. We find it in Galatians chapter 5, verses 90 to 21. We as health care workers ought to take for our own and use each of these gifts to continue our work in the healing ministry. So as to involve in Jesus' mission We pray, Lord, that our physicians radiate the spirit of love, which is service and sacrifice. We pray that our physicians bring about the spirit of joy, which gives inner assurance, balance, and abiding contentment. We pray that our physician be instrumental in bringing about the spirit of peace, which is felt and emotional balance and harmony. We pray our physician radiate the spirit of kindness which we recognize as respect for human dignity, courtesy and courageous attentiveness towards other people. We pray that our physician bring the spirit of generosity 
it is largeness of soul a giving and forgiving nature we pray that a physician bring the spirit of faithfulness it means authenticity friendship trust security and promises kept we pray that our physician bring the spirit of gentleness which is quite self control strength and confidence and at last we pray that our physician bring the spirit of self control or respect for self and the other the essence of civility and humanness the practice of moderation and living generously yes lord he have embarked each and every physician with this spirit with this gifts of the spirit inspire them lord so that they may walk in your footsteps that they may become the channels of your love and care and mercy of your compassion towards the sick and the needy let us now my dear friends let us pause for a while in silence and pray for all the physicians the health workers whom we know maybe my loved ones maybe my family members maybe my friends maybe my benefactors maybe my own neighbor maybe whom we don't know but yet they are working so tirelessly so that we may be secured that we may be held have and enjoy good health let us just pause for a while and pray for all our physicians and health workers Jesus is a great healer. Let us raise our voices and sing this beautiful hymn that Jesus is my healer. He is my everything. Jesus the healer is here.
let us now place our prayers to our Lord Jesus. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayers. Together, Lord, hear our prayers. For the doctors, nurses, clinical laboratory technicians, administrative personnel, ancillary staff, paramedics, funeral home and crematorium workers, as well as volunteers, that they may remain healthy physically, mentally and emotionally as they continue putting their own lives at risk to be of service to others in these troubled times. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all the physicians who have gone before us, with whom we have worked on a daily basis, those who serve within our health system, and those who have most touched our lives and the lives of those we love. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the families of healthcare workers and other frontliners to have hope, serenity, and peace of mind, that their loved ones will be spared of the coronavirus infection as they perform their all-important services for society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the bereaved families of healthcare frontliners who succumbed to COVID-19 to find solace in the fact that the whole nation is with them in spirit as they mourn the passing of their loved ones. Our response? Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the stigma and discrimination being faced by some healthcare frontliners to come to an end, and for such paranoia to be replaced with love and respect that all frontliners deserve for their selfless and most courageous service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the government and hospital authorities to also look after the physical and mental well-being of our frontliners, ensuring their access to safety equipments and other services to cope up with fatigue, stress and good health. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray at this moment that every physician, health worker may make Jesus as their friend in their times of troubles, in their pain, in their suffering, when they're in their stress, when they get tired, when they get bogged down, when they are pressurized, when there are so many problems, so much of work that they need to do, when they have to balance their life from home to the hospital, from the clinic to the other jobs, and especially in this COVID-19 pandemic, that they may raise up all their suffering and struggle to Jesus and make Jesus as their friend. Let us now at this moment sing this beautiful hymn Jesus. 
As we thank the Lord for this beautiful moment that He has given to us to sit beside Him, to listen to His word, to encounter His love. to understand that mission that He has given to us, who is our greatest healer and physician. Thank you, Jesus, at this moment for being with us, for anointing us, consecrating us, for blessing us, Lord, and for gifting us this beautiful vocation of a physician who takes care of our health, who takes care of our worries, our needs, our total wellness. Thank you, Lord, for sending these angels to us who are molding us with your love, care and compassion. Bless us, Lord, at this moment as we prepare ourselves to receive your blessing, Lord. We do accept and believe that you are our salvation, that you are a way, the truth, and life, that you make things impossible possible for us, that you help us to walk the way that you have walked, and to witness the truth that you have fought for at the age of dying on the cross for us. Thank you, Jesus. We love you and we worship you at this moment. We receive, we need your blessings, Lord. We need your presence in our life as we go forth to carry the same mission on mission to continue that same mission that you had given to your apostles. We don't know, Lord, what is going to happen, but we know, Lord, that you are there for us, that everything will be awesome when you are my God. 
when you are my friend and when you are my companion thank you jesus and praise you jesus we love you jesus as we see god's blessings on all our physicians our health workers and especially during this pandemic all our frontier workers warriors we raise each and every gift of their life to jesus and ask jesus you bless them jesus you take care of them jesus you love them Cheers. 